Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a bad one. We are diving in to all of the bad bin, bad binness. If you know, you know, I have made these videos in the past. It is basically me going through the drawer of makeup nightmares and sitting down and telling you all what I do not like anymore, what's on its way out. And I have a bigger than imagined pile of bad bin stuff. So we're going to dive on in. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to share it, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell. So you're notified of my upcoming videos. Also, um, mm, you know what I can't decide is bad or good? Uh, my lips right now. No, no, I did not get any type of a refill, but I was late at night in bed on IG, which uh, I got to tell you guys, it is a goal of mine in life. I actually have lengthy discussions with my husband over this. I'm like, okay, so we're gonna do this thing where we're not on our phone in bed, where we're like, you know, we're doing life the right way. And like blue light, it's bad for you. Like, let's not do it. It's just be me and you. And then we're in bed cracking up over stupid things on Instagram and memes and like laying in bed like this. Well, recently I have saved maybe one or a dozen um, different makeup hack TikTok type things and they all look super ridiculous. And of course today when I'm actually filming like a serious kind of video, I'm like, let's try it out. Maybe I'll do like TikTok beauty, whatever's tested because this one literally, I did the whole, excuse me. I did this thing, it's not attractive. It's like, I don't know what are we doing? And you literally line above your lips, you guys, right? Does it look like I got a fill? It does. It really, I didn't though. I did, I'm gonna do the full thing, I promise. But let me know because honestly, looking in the mirror in the monitor, I'm like, ooh, this looks beautiful. And maybe when I go to edit, I'm gonna be like, I filmed the whole video with my mouth looking like that. Who do you think you are? So honestly, I have no idea. Um, Other news, I'm still into Target fashion. This is from Target. Hey, save that cash. Nails are from Essie really easy to put on, painted myself. Um, I experienced the first chip today. Gosh, darn it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of good before we get into the bad. Eee. I don't like talking about products poorly recently. I feel kind of like a jerk. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, um, but it must be done. Someone has to do it. I'll do it. Um, so we're just, <laughs> we're gonna go there. I'm gonna start out with something that is shocking. And actually this is one of those items that I know someone in my real life, my sister Larissa, she will love this because she likes these kind of sprays. I'm gonna pass this on to her. I can't do these. This is the Mac Fix Plus that has like a little bit of iridescence. I'll do a close up so you guys can see. You shake it up and when you spray it, you get like a little hint of kind of glimmeries, which you can only really see if you are out in light. But to me, I don't like seeing it. It like freaks me out. I'm like, oh gosh, like that's like pink iridescent. I don't like it. For whatever reason, this works on my sister's skin so well. She loves the iconic version. Like every time we're in Sephora, she's like, this one, that's the one I love. And I'm like, I know you say it every single time. She's like, it works, this one. And I'm like, I've tried it. It looks like garbage on me. So let's start the video with the thought that things work differently for everyone. There is never gonna be a one size fits all product for every single personality, skin type, what have you out there. So that being said, I don't like this. I feel shiny in a not great way. I love the original Fix Plus. I will say this, I always have these on hand. I like drench myself, like we're talking we are in a rainstorm, I dry it off, it makes the skin look gorgeous. And I am trying the Magic Radiance Fix All Day Hydrating Spray with Vitamin C. This one feels luminous a little bit without the sparkles. So I am playing with this new one. Don't like this pink light. I don't like the mattifying version either. And I don't like when they sent them. I know everyone's like, ooh, cucumber, watermelon, whatever. I'm like, I don't need it. Just give me the OG. 
this is where it's at for me and we're gonna move on. Uh, I do wanna update you all. It's a little bit more oily and a little too sticky tacky. And I, you guys know, I found something new, a moisturizer. I keep bringing it up. It feels overly sponsored, so I'm not gonna bring it up. If you watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I used it again today. It has been my go-to. Um, okay, fine, I'll, uh, fine. I, this, I'm not being paid to say this. This, um, okay, you don't get paid, well, at least I don't, like every video that you mention a product, if you ever did a sponsored video and you keep using it, like good for you, you really like the product, you don't keep getting paid. I just wanna clear that up. But um, I have continued using that product as my primer. And because of that, I now have two primers in front of me that I am parting ways with that didn't do what I wanted them to do. What I wanted them to do was that nice kind of barrier cream dry down thing that's a little bit sticky, but not too sticky. So this NU YSL primer, not a favorite. Um, going away. This sadly I bought because I really love their other primer, which I do, I do have, I am keeping this one, the glassy. This one is actually super, super nice and really rich. This will give more of an oily, dewy, hydrated, rich kind of a thing to the skin. I've gone through about half of this tub. Um, I like the brand's primer so much, Touch and Soul, that I went and I bought other products. This one was just too much, like almost feels like hair gel. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's really, really jelly. It's too sticky and too tacky and too jelly. And the balm from YSL is too, dare I say like, oily so there's got to be an in-between and this just is not it for me all right uh speaking of oily greasy balmy ugh, i am parting ways with this tower 28 i really wanted to like this i really really wanted to be that girl with like the like slick highlight and i don't wear this kind of makeup all day every day of the week I actually really love an undone look right now where you're not wearing much makeup at all. I love that look. I think it's really effortless and messy and pretty. Just a little mascara, a little brow, and then like some shine on the face. This did not get it done. The Danessa Merricks, Marks, Merricks, that one I like better. This just was not for me. It did not compete. It just literally was a little too waxy. And then I also want to share, I had been trying out this Almay Pen Eyeliner and as much as I wanna think that the tip, like the ball tip right here would be helpful, it actually absolutely is not. So passing on that one. Oh my gosh, why would I buy this 101 YSL? This is their tattooage line, which I love. However, this will crinklify your lips. The metallic in here, I keep buying these. I've bought like two of them and I'm like, the red one is gonna be different. Guess what? It's not, it's not different. I don't like it. The original number one, I think, like literally number one is number one. The rest of them have never done what that one does for me. It's the only one I like and that's that. I recently purchased the Tint Couture Eyewear Concealer from Givenchy. I was just kind of like, you know, I need a new concealer. I want to find something that I fall in love with, like shape tape. I am aching for that like really like, wow, amazing concealer kind of a thing. So I've been trying more high-end products and this is ridiculous. The wand itself is super weird. It's just like a puffy, weird shaped wand and it almost scratches you. The product itself, like it's hard to get the product evenly out. Like I'm putting it on kind of how I would under my eye and do you see how it just like bald patches you? It's just a weird puffy consistency. It creases. It's a little balmy and over waxy in my opinion. And this was a really hard pass. Sorry so much to Givenchy. I love a lot of your makeup. This one was not it for me. Why am I getting rid of this one? This is pretty. Sometimes like I put things in the pile and I'm like, what? Why would I get rid of this? This is beautiful. No, you're staying. Okay. I also recently tried the Bounce Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder from Beauty Blender. Now, I have long loved not just beauty blenders, 
but the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. You guys know for a while I was like, it's not fragranced, it's good ingredients, it wears all day, it doesn't crease, it gives great coverage, it doesn't look cakey. And now that I'm saying all of those things out loud, I'm like, I really need to go and purchase new because I did love that foundation so, so much. I went and bought this powder just because I, in my head, was like, well, I like their face products. This is probably great. And this is shiny. I was shocked. I used it on a day when I was like, I'm gonna bake. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, what did you just do? This is not appropriate for baking in my opinion. It is super reflective and shiny. Like, I don't know if you can see that it has that kind of like finishing powder type of a feeling to it. It is a finishing powder in my opinion, not a setting powder. And I probably should have read more reviews, but I was just like, oh, it's a powder. It's a setting powder. It's in, you know, buff. This looks good. And it was just a really bad makeup day. And I already have other setting powders that I love. Hourglass ambient powders are my go-to if I want like a little bit of like creaminess on the skin. This just didn't cut it. Random, random, let's hear all about it. This is from Caudalie. My sister and I were both like in an in-depth conversation about this product. I bought it, she bought it, neither of us knew that the other bought it. And we were both complaining about the same thing, that we were super, super surprised by the scent. Caudalie has a very specific scent to their products and it's just fresh smelling, bordering on not perfumey, but like a bouquet floral kind of a thing. Like it's very bright and just sweet and floral, fresh. Sweet, fresh, floral, bright. Beautiful fragrance in all of their products. I love this line so much. The tea tree oil scent in here is so overpowering. Like, oh my gosh, eucalyptus, I'm in a steam shower. And when you put this on and then you put on like your vanilla perfume or whatever fragrance you wear, you're getting kind of like a like clash of both. And as much as I like this product and I like a good natural deodorant, I have to tell you guys, unless you like smelling like eucalyptus tea tree, don't buy this, like just don't. It's a great formula, it works, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. I can't even with that clash. Like I just cannot, I can't. It's the grossest, like, ugh. like, can you imagine you're like, you're like tobacco, vanilla, like, like mystery woman. And you're like, and with a hint of eucalyptus, it just does not work. It does not, not work. The one that I'm still loving, PS, that does work with a lot of my fragrances is the, <laughs> I don't know what you're called. Number four. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Why do I get kind of grossed out? Like I'm smelling like something I put on my underarms. I need to stop. Um, okay, I have a couple more for you. Super random. This is a waterproof eyeliner from Givenchy. I know I'm kind of beating up on Givenchy right now. This just is a weird color in my opinion. I don't know why. It just looks super strange on my eyes and I never wore it. So there's no big like, and I hate it. It's just, I didn't like it. I promise you there are products from this range that I absolutely adore. I feel like I've beat up on them a little bit recently and I haven't meant to. I love their night cream. It has like this almost banana fresh fragrance. Um, I got a try me pack and it included this thermal cleansing balm, purchased it myself. <sighs> I don't know, it just, it didn't do a good job taking off my makeup. So I'm in the market for a good balm cleanser that comes in like a tub. What are you guys into? Have you tried anything recently that's newer, that has advanced skincare technology that you're loving? Let me know in the comments. I used to super, super love Elemis. I actually really liked Estee Lauder's cleansing balm, Clinique had a cleansing balm. I don't know why those are two brands I don't really purchase a lot from but I'm like off the top of my head, I'm like, who had a good, Eve Lom has a good cleansing balm. This just, no, it just didn't take my makeup off and then left like this kind of waxy film and it would freak me out. Like it's not coming off. I'd wash my face. That waxy film would still be there and it would be just too intense. Like you could just almost scrape your nail on the skin and feel like it's there. And I just did not like that. So that had to go, oh, this breaks my heart. I. Ooh, I feel like I'm betraying a friend, even though we're not friends. I've never talked to Natasha Denona like on the phone or like hung out or anything. Like we've DM'd, 
but uh, I love her line. I love her products. That is no secret. She is in so many favorites. I've done many dedicated videos. I have so much respect for her as a product developer and an artist. This to me was one of the few palettes she's done that just did not do it for me. It did not get me excited. I was a little confused by this. I'm not gonna lie. I bought it myself at Sephora and the product itself individually, like the shadows are good. They're not bad. How pretty is that? It's just the flow of the palette itself and the harsh red undertone was just not very flattering on me the couple of times that I reached for it. And I know many of you are probably like, oh, you only reached for it twice, what a waste. Well, I do review makeup for a living and I can tell pretty quickly how something applies, the intensity, the undertones, if it's gonna work with me, if I like the color story, I always like seeing something in person and at least watching the texture and trying on a few shades. And this just did not do it, it just didn't. I'm looking at it now and I'm like kind of second guessing myself. I don't know what it was, it's just the colors just, um, I'm torn. Do I play with it again? Do I not? You know what? This is going to be a rare one within one of these videos where I'm like, okay, okay. I'm guessing that there are a few of you out there that are like, yeah, it kind of didn't like dazzle me, but Tati, give it another try. So uh, you convinced me I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it another try, but it, it wasn't my favorite. And to be honest, I haven't seen a palette recently that made me go, oh, Wow, I am excited. I'm checking the mail. I want to put this on right now. I have not had that in a hot minute and it makes me a little sad. It really, really does. This one right here, Bobbi Brown. Oh my gosh, this was from their holiday collection. This did not go well. This just does not have enough variety in this quad to really do much. And it was just too overly golden and I am getting rid of this one. Ooh, I'm parting ways with this. I loved it for a minute and then it kind of was a change my mind kind of a thing where it just started looking like, I don't know what the deal is, if it's just my imagination, but certain highlighters are looking gray on me and I'm just not into them anymore. And that was one of them that kind of started turning like a little bit gray toned and I'm out, we're done. So that is a good look at the bad bin. I have more, I'm like glancing at the floor and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a whole nother tub. I'm constantly going through things, trying them and then kind of pushing them out of the way. If I'm not gonna use them, I'm not gonna keep them and that's the new like hard line mode in my life. So I hope you guys enjoy going through these. Uh, they might seem a little bit frequent and maybe I'll move this kind of content a little more over on IG if you guys are not into it. But let me know if you are by giving this a thumbs up. Leave me those comments. I love hearing from you all. And I hope you're having a good day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Okay. Did I leave my drawer open the whole time? Ah, oh, Tati.